Hello viewers, um, as I said uh, before, I, um, I'll just show you what I've done to my old e-bike. It's done over six and a half thousand miles. Basically what happened was the crank sensor went again because the chain flew off. The rear cassette was absolutely knackered. Um, basically the whole thing was literally needed a complete revamp. The tyre split at the back. I needed a new tyre and tube. The front tyre was bored as hell. Um, so it needed new tyres and tubes. It just generally needed a complete revamp. So this is basically what I did to it. Right, we're starting at the front. As you can see, I put new tyres on, which are the ones on the new bike, which were on the new bike. Um, new tyres and tubes. Um, still got the old crappy forks. As you can see, the end, uh, handlebars are pretty bare now because all the gear shifter's gone. So all I've got is my drink bottle holder and uh, my brakes and my bell, and that's it. Um, still got a loose battery, so I've still got the bungee strap on there, but I'm not really bothered about that. Right, new crank sensor, which at this time I've completely and utterly glued in. New chain. Right, this is where it's different. Got a train, chain tensioner on it now, there. Um, that is the old small cog. I had to use that as a spacer, so ignore that. This is a, this is a cog I had on an old single speed um, racer I had. So I took the cassette and all the gears off, put this on. This is a 15 tooth. Now, this is geared now, so on a flat cruise, it's doing between 16 and 17 miles an hour at a comfortable 60 beats a minute on the, on the, on the pedals. A slow cruise, 15, up hills, it does 14 quite happily. And if I really wanted to get along, it will get me along up to 18, yeah? All right? Um, same again, tyres on the back. Ignore the... Uh, prostrate knife uh, i'm gonna get a new fat saddle for it uh yeah so basically speaking this old girl's up and running again now oh yeah i had all the uh hubster bits and re-greased them i couldn't get the crank off the crank is this bit is alloy and it's absolutely fucking useless that really annoys me about that because my i got a top quality crank extractor and all it did was chew the threads up because it's just rubbish it's welded itself on there so i had to leave that on there and do all the work on it without taking that off um yeah but uh to be fair in a single speed it's fine it's yeah when you pull away from junctions you have to get up on the pedals a little bit and on really steep hills you have to slow up you sometimes but it's to be fair i quite like it um and also i've been able to line up the chain so it's dead on with the cogs so fingers crossed i won't uh i won't have chains jumping off sprockets and taking out crank sensors uh it's a bit noisy here I'm on the side of the a12 at a place called wangford which is a part of my ride um this path is a bit muddy i'm going back on myself actually i'm going heading that way um, and it's uh, the River Wang runs along there and it heads off across through Henham Estate and heads off down towards um, down to what they call Henry Beds and Wolsey Bridge and then off into the Blythe Estuary going past Warbleswick and Southwold. Quite famous. And, and the Latitude Festival is through there. So uh, we're sort of, we're sort of right in the thick of uh, middle class London land here. That's where they all come in the summer got all their second homes and that so us locals uh we have it for the winter and then in the summer we, we get the second homers up here yeah so basically that's it um so i've now got two e-bikes uh this one and uh the 2.1 which is basically this one but a slightly different frame it's this bit is higher so i can get um a, a second battery easier in there um, and to be fair, one I've geared up for the road, one I've geared up for off-road. Uh, well, I haven't really, because this one's a single speed with off-road tyres on it, so it's not really off-road. Uh, yeah, so if one goes wrong, I've got the other to fall back on. I kept looking at these, and like I said before, I kept looking at these hay bikes, Christ knows what else, going to these expensive bloody e-bike shops and, you know, and all I got was, oh, you ain't got one of them, have you? Yeah, they catch fire, don't they? Well, they... I mean, I'm sorry, if I hear that again, I'm going to punch a bloke in the face because they're absolute fucking rubbish. I've got a basic rear drive um, mount, uh, e bike. Yeah, it is what it is. It does the job. It's done six and a half thousand. I'm hoping this can go take me over 10. People I know with hay bikes and that, yeah, they're all right, but they're heavy as hell. 
their crank drive, which I don't particularly like. It's not as nice to ride a crank drive as it is to rear a rear hub drive. And if you want to go quick and stuff like that, get a rear hub drive. You don't, they go quicker than crank drives, in my opinion. I know I'm going to get some crank drive evangelist on here telling me how good they are. I've ridden them. I prefer hub. In fact, I nearly went illegal and bunged a thousand watt on this, but I thought, no, I better not. There's a lot of police around here, believe it or not, because we've got a lot of rich people around here. They tend to have a quite good, we have quite a good um, number of police around here. And, um, yeah, so, uh, and the thing is, this thing has done 6,000 miles, 6,500 miles. It cost me 900 quid with my blue light card dash from, from, from Halfords. It's going to keep going because I can keep fixing it. The rear motor is still running. Even if the rear motor goes, I can pick another one second hand up off eBay for about 50 to 100 quid. I can keep this going indefinitely. Four grand for a bike or two and a half grand. Yeah, you know what I mean? The bits are dearer. It's got more expensive parts on it, more expensive tires, yeah. But is it is it two or three times better? Probably not. And I've now got two bikes. So in my opinion, I'm on this all day, every day. You know, I bike to work on it and everything like that. I'm back to normal again. I'm now up to 400 miles a month again. You know, I mean, a lot of these people buy these hay bikes and that, they ride them. They, they're lucky if they do 200 miles a year on them. I see them advertised on eBay, owned it for a year, done 600 miles. I do that in a month and a half, you know, so be interesting, be interesting to see how it all goes, all pans out. Okay, I've got a suit because I've got a car for it to go to at Chroma where my son lives, one of my sons lives. Um, uh, lunchtime and we're an hour and a bit from Chroma and... Uh, and then I got work tomorrow. Uh, I'm off on holiday soon, off to Lanzarote. Yeah, every winter for a week. That'll do me. Bring it on. Okay, see you, buddy.